Carol, located in the Soup Valley on the north-central coast of Peru, stands as the archaeological testament to one of the most ancient civilizations in the Americas. Dating back over 5,000 years, Carol predates the Inca Empire and showcases the advanced urban planning and architectural sophistication of its inhabitants. The site encompasses a series of pyramids, plazas, and residential complexes, unraveling a narrative of a highly organized and complex society. In essence, this documentary and essay strive to transport the audience back in time, allowing them to witness the grandeur of Carol and appreciate its profound implications for our understanding of human history. Through a multidimensional exploration, we aim to unlock the secrets of Carol and showcase its enduring impact on the narrative of ancient civilizations. The story of Carol's discovery begins in the mid-20th century when pioneering archaeologists turned their attention to the Soup Valley in Peru. It was in the mid-1990s that the groundbreaking work of Dr. Ruth Shady Solis, a Peruvian archaeologist, led to the formal identification of Carol as an ancient city. Dr. Shady's tireless efforts uncovered a sprawling complex of pyramids, plazas, and residential areas, revealing the existence of a highly advanced civilization that predates other well-known ancient cultures in the Americas. The discovery of Carol not only challenged prevailing notions about the origins of complex societies in the Americas, but also brought attention to the need for a more comprehensive understanding of the region's ancient history. Dr. Shady's work opened a new chapter in the exploration of Peru's archaeological treasures, demonstrating the rich cultural tapestry that has often been overshadowed by the more widely known Inca civilization. Carol's age places it in a league of its own, making it one of the oldest known urban centers in the world. Radiocarbon dating of various artifacts found at the site places its origins around 2600, before the Common Era, making it contemporaneous with ancient Mesopotamian and Egyptian civilizations. The realization that a complex society was flourishing in the Americas during the same period, as these well-documented old-world civilizations challenges traditional narratives about the sequence of human cultural development. The Age of Carol also sparks intriguing questions about the development of complex societies in the Americas. How did this ancient civilization emerge, and what factors contributed to its rise and subsequent prominence? These questions drive contemporary researchers to delve deeper into the archaeological record, seeking clues that unravel the mysteries of Carol's early history. While Carol may not boast the same level of global recognition as Mesopotamian or Egyptian civilizations, a comparative analysis reveals fascinating parallels and differences. Unlike the monumental structures of Egypt or the ziggurats of Mesopotamia, Carol's architectural layout emphasizes a sophisticated understanding of urban planning. The absence of defensive structures in Carol challenges the notion that complex societies in ancient times required fortifications for protection. This opens avenues for exploring the peaceful coexistence and advanced social organization that characterized Carol. Carol is strategically situated in the Soup Valley, approximately 200 kilometers north of Lima, Peru. The Soup River flows through the valley, and the archaeological site itself is nestled on a terrace overlooking the river. The region's geographical location played a crucial role in the development and sustenance of the ancient civilization that thrived at Carol. The choice of this location suggests a keen understanding of environmental factors by the inhabitants of Carol. The proximity to the river provided a consistent water source, essential for agriculture and sustaining a growing population. Additionally, the elevation of the site offered a vantage point for both practical and symbolic purposes, emphasizing the significance of geography in shaping the destiny of Carol. The Soup Valley's landscape is characterized by a mix of coastal and Andean features, contributing to a diverse and resource-rich environment. The coastal plain provided fertile soils suitable for agriculture, while the nearby Andes Mountains offer access to a variety of raw materials, including stones for construction and minerals for tool making. The juxtaposition of these natural features created an environment conducive to the development of a thriving civilization. The valleys in the region were ideal for cultivation, allowing the inhabitants of Carol to practice advanced agricultural techniques. The varied landscape also offered opportunities for trade and exchange with neighboring communities, enriching the cultural and economic tapestry of Carol. 
The geographic features surrounding Carroll significantly influenced the city's growth and development. The availability of arable land facilitated the cultivation of crops such as maize, beans, and squash, forming the basis of Carroll's agricultural economy. The ability to harness the resources of both the coastal plain and the nearby mountains contributed to the economic sustainability of the civilization. The Soup River played a pivotal role in the success of Carroll. Its waters not only supported agriculture, but also provided a means of transportation and facilitated trade with neighboring communities. The river served as a lifeline for Carroll's inhabitants, influencing settlement patterns and shaping the city's relationship with its natural surroundings. While the geographic location provided numerous advantages, it's also posed challenges. The region is prone to seismic activity, and the builders of Carroll demonstrated a remarkable ability to adapt to these environmental challenges. The earthquake-resistant construction techniques employing Carroll's monumental structures reflect the inhabitants' resilience in the face of natural hazards. Carroll's urban planning stands as a testament to the advanced architectural and organizational skills of its ancient inhabitants. The city's layout reveals a well-thought-out design, with distinct areas designated for specific purposes. The central core of Carroll features monumental structures and ceremonial spaces, surrounded by residential districts and ancillary facilities. The urban plan of Carroll is characterized by a complex arrangement of plazas, pyramids, and sunken circular courts. The careful orientation of structures and alignment with celestial events suggests a deep understanding of astronomy and a deliberate incorporation of cosmological principles into the city's design. This mastery of urban planning is indicative of a highly organized society capable of large-scale construction and sophisticated architectural principles. At the heart of Carroll are its impressive pyramids and ceremonial structures, which serve as focal points for religious and communal activities. The most prominent among these is the Pyramid Mayor, or the Great Pyramid, which rises dramatically above the city. The purpose of these pyramids goes beyond mere grandeur. They were central to the religious and spiritual practices of the Carroll civilization. The Pyramid Mayor, along with other pyramids, features a complex arrangement of platforms, ramps, and plazas. The integration of these elements suggests a multifunctional use of the structures, potentially serving as ceremonial stages, observatories, or gathering places for the community. Elaborate carvings and symbols found on the surfaces of these structures provide insights into the cosmological and religious beliefs of the Carroll people. Surrounding the central ceremonial core are the residential areas of Carroll, offering a glimpse into the everyday lives of its inhabitants. The city's residential districts consist of well-planned, compact structures arranged in a grid pattern. The houses are constructed with a combination of stone and adobe, showcasing a level of architectural uniformity and community planning. Infrastructure in Carroll includes a network of interconnected pathways and plazas, facilitating movement within the city. The careful organization of residential spaces and the presence of shared public areas suggest a community-oriented approach to urban living. The efficient use of space and the integration of communal facilities underscore the social cohesion and collaborative spirit of Carroll society. The advanced architectural achievements in Carroll extend to its water management systems. The city exhibits an intricate network of canals and reservoirs designed to capture and distribute water efficiently. This mastery of hydroengineering contributed to the sustainability of Carroll, allowing for successful agriculture and demonstrating the inhabitants' ability to adapt to their environment. Religion and spirituality played a central role in the cultural fabric of Carroll. The city's religious landscape is characterized by the presence of monumental pyramids, plazas, and ceremonial structures that served as sacred spaces. The intricate carvings and symbols found on these structures provide valuable insights into the religious beliefs and practices of the Carroll civilization. The orientation of Carroll's pyramids and structures suggests a deep connection to astronomical events, indicating that celestial observations were integral to their religious calendar. Ritual activities likely involve ceremonies related to agricultural cycles, celestial phenomena, and communal gatherings. The significance of these rituals in the daily lives of the Carroll people is a testament to the spiritual depth of this ancient civilization. The social organization of Carroll is a subject of ongoing research, 
but evidence suggests a complex and hierarchical structure. The monumental nature of the architecture, including the Piramai Mayor, suggests the presence of a ruling elite or religious class that held considerable influence over the community. The layout of the city, with distinct areas for ceremonial, residential, and administrative purposes, further supports the notion of a stratified society. The absence of defensive structures implies a degree of social cohesion and internal stability. It is plausible that leadership in Carroll was not solely based on military prowess, but also on religious authority, economic control, or a combination of factors. Understanding the social hierarchy in Carroll enhances our comprehension of power dynamics and governance. In one of the earliest known civilizations in the Americas, the daily life of the inhabitants of Carroll is a fascinating aspect of the civilization. Residential areas, constructed with a combination of stone and adobe, reveal insights into domestic architecture and community living. The grid-like layout of the city suggests a planned approach to urban living, emphasizing the importance of communal spaces and shared infrastructure. Evidence of agricultural practices, including terraced fields and irrigation systems, sheds light on the importance of farming in sustaining the population. The cultivation of crops such as maize, beans, and squash formed the dietary backbone of Carol's inhabitants. The sophisticated water management systems implemented by the civilization highlight their ability to harness natural resources for sustenance. Cultural practices in Carroll extended beyond religious ceremonies. Artistic expressions, as seen in carvings and symbols on structures, pottery, and artifacts, reveal a rich cultural tapestry. The presence of musical instruments and evidence of communal spaces suggests that music and social gatherings were integral to the cultural identity of Carroll. The agricultural practices of Carroll played a fundamental role in sustaining its population and shaping its economic foundation. The inhabitants of Carroll were adept farmers, utilizing the fertile soil of the Soup Valley for cultivation. The cultivation of staple crops such as maize, beans, and squash formed the backbone of Carroll's agrarian economy. Evidence suggests that the agricultural techniques employed by the Carroll civilization were sophisticated, terraced fields, irrigation canals, and carefully planned agricultural plots demonstrate an understanding of soil management and water distribution. The success of Carroll's agricultural endeavors not only provided sustenance for the local population, but also likely contributed to surplus production, facilitating economic interactions with neighboring communities. Carroll's strategic location, situated between the coastal plain and the Andes Mountains, likely facilitated trade and economic interactions with surrounding regions. The city's proximity to the Soup River, a potential navigable route, could have facilitated the transportation of goods, further enhancing its role as a trade hub. While the specific details of trade networks are still under investigation, the presence of unique artifacts and materials odd indigenous to the region suggests that Carol engaged in long distance trade. The exchange of goods, ideas, and cultural practices with neighboring societies would have contributed to the economic and cultural richness of Carol. The economic interactions in Carroll were not solely based on agriculture. The city's advanced urban planning, monumental architecture, and potentially specialized craft production indicated diverse economic landscape. Specialized labor may have existed, with individuals contributing to the production of goods for trade and local consumption. Technological advancements in Carroll were integral to its economic success and societal development. The city showcases remarkable engineering feats, particularly in the construction of its pyramids, plazas, and water management systems. The use of large stones, precise architectural alignment, and earthquake-resistant construction techniques reveal a sophisticated understanding of engineering principles. Carroll's technological achievements also extend to its agricultural practices. The construction of terraced fields and irrigation canals reflects advanced knowledge in soil, management, and water distribution. The ability to harness and manipulate natural resources for agricultural purposes contributed to the sustainability of Carroll's economic system. The development of pottery and other craft items indicates a level of technological proficiency in the production of everyday items. The intricately carved artifacts found at the site showcase the artistic and technical skills of the Carroll people. 
Understanding the technological advancements in Carol provides insights into the daily lives of its inhabitants and the complexity of their economic and cultural activities. Carol's artistic expressions are etched into the very fabric of its monumental structures, artifacts, and pottery. The civilization's artisans demonstrated a keen aesthetic sensibility, employing various mediums to convey their cultural and spiritual beliefs. The artistic elements found at Carol provide a visual narrative that enriches our understanding of the civilization's values and identity. The carvings on the surfaces of pyramids and ceremonial structures are among the most striking examples of Carol's artistic achievements. These intricate designs often depict animals, anthropomorphic figures, and abstract symbols. The carvings serve not only an ornamental purpose, but also convey deeper meanings related to the spiritual and cosmological beliefs of the Carol people. Symbols played a crucial role in Carol's culture, serving as a means of communication, representation, and expression. The presence of specific symbols on architectural elements and artifacts suggests a shared visual language within the society. Deciphering the meaning of these symbols is an ongoing challenge for researchers. But it is evident that they held profound significance for the Carol civilization. Iconography related to celestial bodies, agricultural cycles, and mythological narratives can be identified in the symbols found at Carol. The alignment of structures with astronomical events suggests a connection between the symbols and the cosmological beliefs of the society. Unraveling the symbolic language of Carol contributes to our understanding of how the civilization perceived and interpreted the world around them. Cultural artifacts unearthed at Carol provide invaluable insights into the daily lives, beliefs, and practices of its inhabitants. Pottery, in particular, serves as a canvas for artistic expression and storytelling. Intricately decorated ceramics depict scenes of daily life, mythological narratives, and symbolic motifs, offering a glimpse into the cultural identity of Carol. The discovery of musical instruments, such as flutes and drums, suggests the importance of music in Carol society. The presence of these artifacts not only attests to the artistic and recreational aspects of life, but also hints at the role of music in religious and ceremonial activities. Textiles and clothing items found at Carol contribute to our understanding of the societies, craftsmanship, and fashion. The intricate patterns and weaving techniques showcase the skill and artistry of Carol's textile artisans, shedding light on the aesthetics and social significance of clothing within the civilization. The decline and eventual abandonment of Carol remain a subject of speculation among researchers, and various theories attempt to explain the cessation of the city's prominence. While the exact reasons are still debated, several plausible hypotheses shed light on the factors that may have contributed to Carol's decline. One theory proposes internal factors such as social unrest, political instability, or conflicts within the community. Evidence for this hypothesis is scant, but the absence of defensive structures in Carol raises questions about the city's ability to withstand external pressures. Another possibility the exhaustion of local resources, particularly soil degradation and depletion of agricultural lands. Over-reliance on certain crops and unsustainable farming practices could have led to diminished agricultural productivity, placing strain on the city's ability to support its population. Understanding the reasons behind Carol's decline is a complex puzzle that requires further archaeological research and interdisciplinary collaboration. Investigating the socio-political dynamics, environmental conditions, and potential external influences can provide a more comprehensive picture of the factors that led to the eventual abandonment of this ancient city. Environmental factors, including climate change, likely played a role in the decline of Carol. The Soup Valley's vulnerability to natural disasters such as earthquakes and floods could have had a significant impact on the city's infrastructure and agricultural productivity. Evidence of seismic damage in some structures suggests that the inhabitants had to contend with the challenges posed by the region's geological instability. Climate change may have also affected Carol's agricultural practices. Shifts in precipitation patterns or prolonged droughts could have disrupted the delicate balance that sustained the city's agrarian economy. The interconnectedness between environmental conditions and human adaptation is a critical aspect of understanding the decline of Carol and the challenges faced by its ancient inhabitants.
Despite its decline and abandonment, Carol's legacy endures as a symbol of early human achievement in the Americas. The discovery of this ancient civilization has reshaped our understanding of the timeline and complexity of cultural development in the region. Carol challenges preconceived notions about the chronological sequence of advanced civilizations and highlights the diversity of human cultural evolution. Carol's architectural and engineering feats, its intricate artistic expressions, and its advanced urban planning continue to inspire researchers, archaeologists, and the public alike. The lessons learned from Carol contribute to ongoing discussions about sustainable practices, resilience in the face of environmental challenges, and the interconnectedness of cultural and ecological systems. As we reflect on the significance of Carol, it becomes imperative to issue a call to action for the continued exploration and preservation of this invaluable archaeological site. Ongoing research efforts should be supported, with a focus on interdisciplinary collaboration that integrates archaeological findings, with insights from environmental science, anthropology, and other relevant disciplines. In conclusion, Carroll stands as a beacon illuminating the depths of human history. Its exploration invites us to rethink established narratives, appreciate the diversity of cultural evolution, and recognize the enduring legacy of ancient civilizations. As we embark on this journey of discovery, let us commit to the ongoing exploration and preservation of Carol, ensuring that its lessons continue to inspire and inform our understanding of humanity's shared past.